everybody knows certain myths, like Indian myths, or Arthurian legends, even Native American myths in our own country. Norse gods come from myths, and things are explained through African myths. But we also have myths today that we look at to explain ourselves and understand where we come from. Yes, even R2-D2 from Star Wars and Mr. Edward Cullen himself are all contained in Myths in Our Culture. This video was designed by Mr. Patrick McGee for Our Lady of Good Counsel School in September 2012. So, ancient myths for ancient people, correct? Because myths are just stories that explain the natural world around the ancient people and explained where they came from and who they were, correct? Sure, it set up social belief systems or even social customs that they adhered to. It explained the natural world around them and even psychological phenomena. It even explained why certain people had certain anxieties. Well, that's just great for the ancient people, isn't it? But today with science and technology, we surely aren't touched by myths in our modern culture, are we? Wrong. In fact, you couldn't even be more wrong. Myths are all around us, and we don't even recognize them. Take, for instance, our weekly calendar. Have you ever wondered where Wednesday comes from? It's actually named for the Norse god Odin, Odin's Day. How about Thursday, which is named after his th son, Thor? also a Norse god, and Freya has her very own day, that Norse goddess, Freya's day. And on Saturday, we return to Roman mythology for Saturn's day, Saturday. Still don't believe me? Well, why don't you go down to the Midas Tire Store, and you can take your Toyota Avalon, or Cressida, Cadillac Eldorado, Honda Odyssey, or any of the cars from the Mercury brand, Oh, and don't forget to wear your Nikes on the way there. Still a skeptic? Okay, take a look at our night sky. Our skies are filled with constellations named after Greek and Roman people, like Orion the Argo. All of the planets are named after Roman gods and goddesses. Even our own galaxy, yes, the Milky Way itself was supposedly the road over which the stars traveled to Jupiter's palace. The first part of the U.S. space program was po Project Mercury, named after the messenger of the gods because the project's purpose was to send a message to the Soviets that America was in the space race. The Gemini project was next. Gemini is Latin for twins, and the project was called this because the capsule held two astronauts. Apollo astronauts even rode on Saturn rockets. Myths make for great stories. They come up in literature all over the place, from children's literature like Harry Potter to comic books, even music. In fact, the word music comes from the mythological muses who inspired arts of all kinds. Painters like Michelangelo and Botticelli were inspired by myths. Even children's movies are a good place to look for myths. You'll find them everywhere, including Snow White, Star Wars, and Lord of the Rings. Myths are everywhere. Without myths, we wouldn't have the culture or art that we see and read and hear every day of our modern lives. As we continue our research into ancient myths, Try to think how we explain the natural world around us. Do we have any myths? Ask yourself, are there myths we use today to explain certain things to children or ourselves or even to society itself? If you have any questions, you can always email me at patrick underscore mcgee11 at yahoo.com or reach me at grade6mcgee.wikispaces.com as well. As always, have a great night and keep working hard.